Hello mga kawamat! So sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to transform the quadratic function in general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c into standard form or vertex form y is equal to a, the quantity x minus 8 squared plus k and vice versa. Okay, first, so kailangan muna natin mapamilyarize yung sarili natin. Ano ba yung general form of quadratic function? So that is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. At ano naman yung standard or vertex form of quadratic function? That is y is equal to a times the quantity of x minus 8 squared plus k. So itong vertex form, mas convenient siya gamitin kapag uh, may mga problems involved sa vertex of the graph, vertex of the graph ng quadratic functions. So, mas maganda siyang gamitin. So, ano ba yung mga steps how to transform the general form of quadratic function in uh, into standard or vertex form of quadratic function? Una, group the terms containing x. So, i-group lang natin yung may mga x na variable. So, factor out a. So, kapag uh, hindi, uh, yung a mo ay hindi, hindi equal sa 1, so i-factor out natin. Ma-factor out nyo. For number 3, complete the expression in parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial by adding the quantity b over 2 squared and subtracting a times the quantity b over 2 squared to the constant term. Okay, for number 4, express the perfect square trinomial as the square of a binomial. Okay, before we start in our discussion, so let's have a short review kung paano ginagawa yung ginagawang perfect square trinomial yung isang expression. For example, so determine the number that must be added to make, make each of the following a perfect square trinomial, then give the factor as a square of binomial. For number 1, x squared minus 8x plus blank. Okay, by applying this concept, so, so paano natin kukunin yung i-add natin dyan sa x squared minus 8x? So, by getting the value of a and divide by 2, then squared. So, ano ba yung value ng a dyan? That is, negative 8 divided by 2, that is equal to, ne so negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4, and then squared. Negative 4 squared, that is equal to 16. So, ibig sabihin, yung idadagdag natin doon para maging perfect squared trinomial is 16. So, x squared minus 8x plus 16. Pag ang factors nito as square of binomial is the quantity x minus 4 squared. Para di kayo mahirapan kung anong ilalagay nyo number dyan, dito nyo nalang titignan. No? Yung di divide nyo. Yung b divide 2. So, kung anong sagot doon, yan yung ilalagay nyo dito para hindi kayo mahirapan kunin yung square of binomial. Next, x squared plus 3x plus blank. So, same process. Kunin natin yung value ng b, then divide it by 2, and then squared natin. So, 3 over 2 squared, that is equal to 9 over 4. Why? Because 3 times 3, that is 9. And 2 times 2, that is 4. So, 9 over 4. So, mag-add natin doon yung 9 over 4. So, x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 express as a square of binomial as x plus 3 over 2 squared. So, kung ano yung, nilag yung dinivide natin, no? yung b divide 2, so yun din ang ilalagay nyo dyan. Okay, so gagamitin nyo yung concept na yan on how to transform general form into vertex form. Okay, for number 1, rewrite y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 14 in standard form. Identify the constant a, h, and k. So, from the general form of quadratic function, so mag gagawin nating standard form or vertex form. So, of course, we will be guided using the steps. No? Okay, so gamit yung mga steps na yan. 
Yan yung magiging guide natin how to transform x squared minus 6x plus 14. So, una daw, group the terms containing x. So, i-group natin si x squared minus 6x. So, yan yung quadratic and linear term natin. And after that, factor out a. Since yung a natin dito ay equal to 1, so hindi na natin ipa-factor out. So, tandaan, kapag equal to 1 naman yung a, no need to factor out na. So, after that, complete the expression in the parentheses, okay, to make it a perfect square trinomial by adding b over 2 squared. So, kunin natin yung value ng b, ano yung value ng b natin dun sa loob ng parentheses natin. That is negative 6. So, that is negative 6 and then divide it by 2, then squared. Negative 6 divide 2, that is negative 3. And negative 3 squared is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, magdadagdag tayo ng 9 dito sa loob ng parenthesis. And then, sabi dito, subtracting A times the quantity B over 2 squared to the constant term. So, magdadagdag tayo dito sa 14 by subtracting A times the quantity of B minus 2, uh, B over 2 squared. And that is, yung A natin is 1. So, yung value ng A is 1 times kung ano yung nakuha nyo dito. And that is 9. So, 1 times 9, that equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, magdadagdag tayo sa 14 ng... Oh, no. Magsusubtract tayo sa 14 ng 9. So, that will become y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, ito yon Nagdagdag tayo ng 9. Plus 14 minus. So, ito naman, minus 9. And after that, Express the perfect square trinomial as the square of binomial. So, again, yung kanina, yung sa review natin, paano gagawing uh, square of binomial to. So, kung anong sagot mo doon. Okay, so pag-divide mo ng b over 2. So, that is x minus 3 squared plus 5. Bakit 5? 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. So, therefore, makukuha na natin yung a. So, a is equal to 1. h is equal to 3. And k is equal to 5. Okay, that is the value, the constant uh, of a, b, and a, h, and k. Next. Express 2x squared plus y is equal to 6x minus 5 in the form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k and give the constant a, h, and k. So, this is squared. No, nakataas yan. Okay, so same process. So, gamit yung steps natin. Okay, so first, kailangan muna gener in general term yung quadratic function natin. So, kasi yung given natin, hindi pa siya naka genera in general form. Okay, by the way, in general form. So, gawin muna natin general form. So, ang gagawin lang, so lipat nyo lang si 2x squared dun sa left side. Kaya naging y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 6x minus 5. So, the first step, kaya natin yung group the terms containing x. So, pagsamahin lang natin si negative 2x squared plus 6x minus 5. And then, factor out a. Since yung a natin ay hindi equal sa 1, so if a factor out natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin, ilabas lang natin yung negative 2 sa uh, loob ng parenthesis. So, paano natin nakuha yung x squared minus 3x? So, dinivide lang natin to dito kay negative 2. So, negative 2x squared, divide negative 2, that is equal to positive x squared. Positive 6x, divide negative 2, that is negative 3x. Then, minus 5. And after that, complete the expression. So, gawin natin perfect square trinomial tong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin by adding the quantity of b over 2 squared. And that is, so, ang value ng b natin is negative 3 negative 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4. So, ibig sabihin, mag a tayo ng 9 over 4 dito. And then, after that, subtracting a times the quantity of b over 2 squared. So, yung a natin is negative 2. So, ito yon Times yung nakuha nating b over 2 squared, that is 9 over 4. So, negative 2 times 9 over 4 is equal to negative 18 over 4. So, pwede pa natin kunin yung lowest term yan. And that is negative 9 over 2. 
So therefore, okay, so add tayo dito ng 9 over 4 and dito naman sa constant term natin, magsusubtract tayo ng negative 9 over 2. And after that, express the perfect square trinomial as a square of as the square of a binomial. So negative 2 times the quantity of x minus. So paano natin kunin yung square of binomial nito? So kung ano yung dinivide nyo? So dito, 3 over 2 squared minus 5 plus 9 over 2. So negative 5 plus 9 over 2, that is negative 1 half. Bakit? So pwede kayo i-apply yung uh, LCD dyan or simply multiply 2 times negative 5 that is negative 10 plus 9 so negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1 over 2 kaya negative 1 half so the value of A is negative 2 the value of H is 3 over 2 and K is equal to negative 1 half ok, paano naman pag galing standard form to general form so for example, y is equal to the quantity of x minus 1 squared minus 4 write the values or identify the values of a, b, and c una, expand muna natin yung x minus 1 squared so by multiplying it by itself so applying the FOIL method so x times x, that is x squared x times negative 1, negative x. So, negative 1 times x, that is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. And then, combine like terms. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1. So, that is y is equal to. So, ito na yung expanded form ng x minus 1 squared. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 4. And then, simplify the equation by combining like terms. So, that is y is equal to x squared minus 2x. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 2, and C is equal to negative 3. Another, Y is equal to negative 2, the quantity X minus 3 squared plus 1. Okay, so first, expand muna natin si X minus 3 squared by using the FOIL method. So, same format. So, the expanded form of X minus 3 squared so, it's x squared minus 6x plus 9. And after that, distribute negative 2 inside the parentheses. So, negative 2 times x squared. So, negative 2 times x squared, that is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 6x, that is positive 12x. Negative 2 times 9, that is negative 18 plus 1. And then, simplify the equation by combining like terms, that is y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 12x. Negative 18 plus 1 is negative 17. So therefore, A is equal to negative 2, B is equal to 12, and C is equal to negative 17. Next. Write Y. So ito, medyo mahirap na to kasi merong fraction na involved. For the quantity x plus 2 over 7 squared plus 3 over 7. So una... Ganun din, expand muna natin yung x plus 2 to over 7 squared. So, using the FOIL method. So, that is x squared plus 4 over 7x plus 4 over 49. So, ito yung expanded form ng x plus 2 over 7 squared. And then, distribute 4 inside the parentheses. So, magiging 4 times x squared, that is 4x squared. 4 times 4 over 7x, so magiging 16 over 7x. 4 times 4 over 49, so that it will become 16 over 49 plus 3 over 7. And then simplify the equation. So, y is equal to 4x squared plus 16 over 7x plus 37 over 49. Bakit 37 over 49? So, inad natin to. So, 16 over 49 plus 3 over 7. So, yung LCD niyan is 49. So, 49 divide 49, that is 1, times 16, kaya 16. 49 divide 7, that is 7, times 3 equals 21. And 16 plus 21, that is 37 over 49. So, A is equal to 4, B is equal to 16 over 7, and C is equal to 37 over 49. Okay, it's your time. Say kayo naman. Okay, I'll give you 5 item quiz. Which of the following standard form of a quadratic function? A, B, C, and D. Yes. 
The answer is letter D. Question number 2. The quadratic function y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10 is expressed in standard form as A, B, C, and D. Okay, so pwede i-post nyo muna yung video sa kanyo kapag may sagot na, saka i-play again. Okay, so the answer is letter A. Next, question number 3. What must be the value of h K in the quadratic function y is equal to 3, the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 4. A, B, C, and D. Okay, sagutan nyo muna. I-post nyo yung video bago nyo i-play ag ulit. Yes, the answer is letter B, 2, 4. Next, number 4. If y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10 is written in the form y is equal to a, the quantity x minus h squared plus k, then what is the value of a plus h minus k? Letter A, 15, B, 14, C, 13, D, 12. Yes, the answer is letter C. Next, which of the following is general form of quadratic function? Letter A, B, C. And D. Yes, tama po kayo. The answer is letter A. So, kapag nakakuha tayo ng uh, five, 4 or 5, congratulations. So, kung hindi man, so pwede ulit balikan yung mga video lesson natin para ma-practice din kayo. How to transform, quadra uh, how to transform uh, the general form of quadratic function into standard form or vertex form of quadratic function. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.